hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl susan here back with another amazing video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i traveled back home in zambia after four years of being away so i'm going to be making a little travel vlog and i'm going to be showing you guys how i traveled from guangzhou china to lusaka zambia this was on the 27th of july yes so i really hope you guys enjoy this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share so i just reached the hangzhou south railway station it's really pretty yeah as you can see i'm on the escalator and then we're just going to like take some pictures and everything Hey guys, so Ivy, that's Yvonne, and Emmanuel just went to get some food for us to eat before we check in to our train. We still have like an hour and some minutes, so we're like pretty early. Yeah, so right now I'm just like watching the bags. As you can see, I just sat on the bags. Yeah, yeah so yeah, like I'm going home, you guys. After four years, I'm going back to Zambia. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to feel right now. I hope I'll just be used and I'll, I'll be like, not so, how to say, overwhelmed. Yeah, because I mean like four years is a lot, you guys. And I don't know like, how have things changed back home and everything. We'll see when I get there. Stay tuned, enjoy this video. So we finally got on our slow train and it took us 16 hours to reach to Guangzhou from Hangzhou. It was really really slow but we finally uh, managed to get there and yeah we had to check in into this hotel just to make sure that we freshen up and rest because I mean our journey was so long so yeah this was our hotel. It was really really awesome. Like. So much stuff they had there and yeah we had a good time hey guys so we just reached Guangzhou right now. I'm so tired, please excuse me that I'm talking. Yeah, we just reached Guangzhou and it's like, um, what's the time now? 9, 10? Yeah, we reached Guangzhou around 5 a.m. And then because there's been a delay in our flight, it's going to actually be on Monday, the 27th, not on Sunday, the 26th. And so we had to find a place to accommodate us for the night so we found this hotel it's really nice it's really cute it was just like 180 yeah that's where we're going to be for this day today so i just want to freshen up shower uh, wash my clothes and change into something else because i'm so tired and i feel so yeah like you know hey 
Hey guys, so I just finished showering and at least I feel much much better like I was so like exhausted and just feeling crappy but yeah I took a shower and I feel much better now so right now I just want to sleep for a bit it's like um, 10 30 yes it's like 10 30 now the other time when I said it was 10 I was mistaken that was around 8 yes so now it's like 10 30 and i just want to take a rest because we'll be here for like the whole afternoon the whole night and then we'll probably start off for the airport around midnight or so because we're told we have to be there four hours earlier since our flight is around 12 13 and uh, tomorrow so yeah we're supposed to leave at midnight though i'm not sure if we're gonna leave at midnight because i mean like we'll still have enough time so i don't think we we'll need to leave that early but uh, the guys think that we have to leave at that time so if uh, the plan is still the same then we'll go and check out of this place at around midnight but if not then we can check out around tomorrow morning maybe 8 or so yeah so yeah you guys just stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy this travel vlog i'm like so excited to go back home you guys i'm like it's been four years and i don't even know what to expect i just can't wait to see dad my sister you know like yeah so exciting i just can't wait i'm like oh i can't wait yeah it's just sad that there's been this setback like our flight has been delayed by one day but yeah i'm trusting that by monday 27th we'll all be on the flight we'll all be back home so yeah you guys just yeah just hope for the best well I, by the time you're watching this obviously i'll be back home so yeah i'll see you guys in zambia Hey guys, so we just got Hello. some ice cream. I'm with Ivy, Yvonne. Yes, and Jeffrey. this is now just, Guangzhou. We just okay, want to show you the I streets. I just saw your message uh, of Guangzhou. Yeah. These are the dirty streets of Guangzhou. Hey guys, welcome to Guangzhou. This is the, the Guangzhou. Oh, well, not Ooh. the actual, actual. Guys, look at this. Oh, we oh got my ice God. cream. It has a tray. Okay. Hi. Hi. How does it feel to be Guangzhou? <laughs> this is like the best ice cream I've ever tasted in China. <laughs> so guys, like after... Um, well, I did say initially that our flight was at 12.30 on Monday, right? But we just got a new confirmation saying that it's at 6.45. Yay! It's actually even started off from Kigali <laughs> Airport in, wow. in Kenya. Yeah, and it's heading for China to be here by 5. So we are officially going back home. Woo! So yeah, this is like the last time, our last day, night in China. So I wanted to just show you guys around and see what what our last day in China looks like and see Guangzhou also. Hey guys, so we're just about to check out of our hotel room. It's like um, 23. Yes, we're about to check out and head to the airport. And then we will wait for our check-in there and get into our flight. So yeah, we had a good time here. We enjoyed being in Guantanamo. And well, I'm just excited to go back home. Yeah, we got dressed up. We wore the, the same matching outfits with my, my friends, Yvonne. Hi guys, so this is Yvonne. She's the one going back home with me. Look, you guys were like twins. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it's like 4 36 right now, and we just finished the clearance. Now we're just about to like uh, go into the boarding area and then wait for the time to board the plane that we are on 6 45 a.m. So we are about to board the aircraft. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. We together are strong. Yeah. You guys we prayed for this day like we prayed and it's finally here. Yay! Victory dance. We're finally going back home to Zambia guys. We're going to Zambia. Like we've been Zambia. We're going home. We're going home. Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation because I know that my colleagues had a lot of problems with their students every day but I'm so blessed that really you were such a nice group and you... I can't believe we're just boarding our flight. I can't record because I'm rushing but I'm so excited it's finally happening you guys. Yeah, so yeah, we're just the next time is just the Zambia. We're in Zambia. <laughs> We're in Zambia. So we just reached Zambia, the Saka, it's like 16.50 Zambian time. I'm so excited, I'm finally back home after four years and there's strict quarantine here so we have a mask on. But 
Are you guys like the African sun? This is our airport. Mm -hmm. Say bye to the people. Say bye to the people. Bye. You guys, she's going. <laughs> I won't see her again. Now we just arrived in Zambia. You guys don't mind my hair. I yeah. took off the wig because you know <laughs> they're tired like that. Yeah. I miss you. So you guys, I also had to go and see my mom's parasite. So yes, for those of you who don't know, my mom passed away in 2018. It's been two years now and I've, I'd been in China at the time so I never really like got a chance to come back home for the barrier and everything. So me coming back home it was also a chance for me to go and see her and see where she was buried yeah so i went there with my dad and two of my uncles and i just paid my last respects it was really hard but you just have to be strong yeah you just have to be strong in life and don't give up no matter what comes your way so it's just to encourage you guys if you've lost a loved one if you're going through whatever challenges or hard times that you may be going through never ever give up there's always brightness at the end of every trial you know those hard times won't last forever and you are definitely going to see good come out of it Always remember God, always remember His promises towards you. Always remember that He works everything together for our good. So no matter how bad your situation might seem, don't give up, don't lose hope. So yeah, I just paid my last respects and I really, really was happy to be there just to see her. Yeah. And that's my uncle also paying his last respects and my dad too so yeah that's how my time went when I just got back So after that we just um, went over to a shopping mall just to get some food to eat and also get my new Zambian SIM card and then we stayed a day yeah we stayed one more day in Lusaka and then the following day we started off for my hometown Livingstone so yeah you guys stay tuned, enjoy this video. Hey guys! <laughs> I'm now finally back home. I'm like, oh, it's so amazing back here. Like the sky, the yard, the house, the food, everything. Like I can't believe I'm in Zambia after four years. <laughs> yeah, and there is my camera sister there. She's hiding, she didn't want to be in the camera. But don't worry, she'll be in more of my videos now. Like you guys will be seeing us more now in my YouTube videos because she'll be like we'll be there to make fun and tell stories and do some awesome things like oh, I'm just glad to be back home you guys so yeah I'm finally back in Zambia 
you guys should keep on watching my videos okay yeah and subscribe to my channel share my videos okay i'll be showing you guys how like internship goes in zambia and everything like that like just different things so you guys can also suggest to me what you want to be seeing in my videos yeah but for now it's bye i'm going to make some breakfast because it's like nine hours now <laughs> yeah i'm so happy all right bye love you guys thank you for watching